Well, hello guys. I'm doing this one with voice just because I think it'll be easier to explain. This is going to be showing you the mechanics of the easiest XP farm. So this is the XP machine right here. It's very, very simple as you can see. But this is basically uh, the base of any XP farm uh, using this particular design, I guess. Um, what it is, is we have three different furnaces. We have just the generic one, then we have the smoker, and then the blast furnace. So what we have here in the back are the redstone mechanics, which allow us to mine the XP out of the bank of these XP farms. So how does this work? Well, one of these chests are what you smelt. The other chest is the fuel. Then, as the ore comes through here, Believe it or not, the XP is actually stored in here. I, I don't really understand this works, but it, it just it just does. It's kind of weird. Um, if any of you are watching this and are playing a different platform like Bedrock or Windows 10, this might work. I'm not sure. I'm doing Java on the PC, so I know it for sure works on Java. I'm in the 1.14.4 version. Um, just putting that in there just in case you try it and it doesn't work. It might be because you're not on the latest Java version. But for sure it works on the latest Java version. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this and then I'll show you what happens after I build it. So whenever you want to build it, all you have to do is come to any spot, poke a hole there, poke a hole there. Now, redstone and a lever. Redstone on one side, lever on the other, push it down to deactivate that. Now we're gonna need some chests. Put a chest right there. Hoppers. And we're just gonna use a regular furnace for now for this one. Hopper there. Furnace there. Another hopper. Another hopper. Now we need the chests. Oh, I already got chests. Uh -huh. Chest, chest. Okay, so this one's for fuel. This one's for your items. So, if we're using fuel, one of the most uh, efficient is just coal. So you're going to put, you know, a bunch of coal in here. It's going to be fill, all full up. It's coming up and filling your furnace up here. Up here are your items. Suppose you went and just mined a bunch of stone. Yes, or cobblestone. Cobblestone does work as well. It's just, obviously, there's not much XP in this. You know, iron, gold, those get more XP. The nice thing about it, if you're doing ores, you can do blast furnace, and the XP farm works faster. But, you know, if you're using a regular furnace, anything that can go through the furnace will give you XP. And in, in my world, what I would do here is I would just make maybe three of them, like I have over there. And then this one, i just throw everything in. And you don't have to put just one type. It could be cobblestone and some ores and some chicken, whatever the heck you want. So that's how that works. Now, the way you make it so it gives you the XP is, if you can see here, when it goes through this... It, it sends it through into the chest. You want the XP out of it, all you do is flick the lever. Now, to kind of demonstrate this a little bit easier, I'm going to go into survival. Now what happens is it doesn't go through anymore, but the XP is still there. And you can pull it out. Not much has gone through here, so I don't get any very XP out of this, but these ones have been going for a little while. Not too long, but for a little while. Okay, so 64 pork chops. Now, look at my XP right now. I'm at 9. Watch what happens if I click the stop button. Now, this one should only give me a little bit, right? Watch this. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen one pork chop make you raise just one level? <laughs> I actually just got XP for over 64 pork chops. Okay, so let's do the gold one. Okay. Okay, so I'm just pulling one gold ingot. Oh my gosh, all the way up to level 13 from one gold ingot. Whew, that's quite a gold ingot there. All right, let's, let's switch it over on the blast furnace, because it's been going faster. Watch this. Level 13 to level 15! Oh my gosh! Just one gold ingot. Woo-wee! Can you imagine throwing this chest full of gold or iron or whatever you're doing? Once it's full coming and just pulling one out. That's a lot of XP. Well, after you've pulled your XP out, just flick it off. 
and go on about your business. Then you come on back. Now, like I said, this is the base for an XP farm. What this means is that this XP farm is not fully automatic. But it does work. It's very, very simple. If you just want to build something simple cheap for your survival world, this will work. Um, uh, sometime later, I think I will do a tutorial on how to make it fully automatic. The basic idea of making it fully automatic is you just need to make it so it automatically refills from something that's an infinite resource for both fuel and for something that was smelt. You know, if it was a farm that automatically killed a bunch of chickens and sent all the chicken through, that would be something to give you a bunch of XP. And anything for fuel, you know, you can probably think of all kinds of things. Sorry I haven't explained as much about the fully automatic. This video is not meant to teach the fully automatic version, just the simple base and the mechanics of an XP farm. But yeah, I think I will do a video later to do the fully automatic part. I just thought I'd do this one video so that it would be much shorter so you get the idea of it. Well, that's actually it. Let's not waste any more time and just end this video. That is how you make an XP farm. Very easy.